For R4 labs, you need to be asking your doctor to run in order to gain accurate insight into your metabolic health. If you watch that video and realize that your insulin levels are high or borderline high, this video is for you. This is part one, how to improve your lab work with nutrition. Starting with what, in my opinion, is the most important lab, insulin. When insulin levels are high or borderline high, it can have a negative impact on quite literally every other lab, including the ones in this first video, like blood sugar levels in A1C, triglyceride levels, and liver function. Elevated insulin levels have been linked to conditions like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cancer, and infertility. The number one driver of insulin resistance is a diet rich in processed and refined foods, especially processed and refined carbohydrates. These foods cause massive spikes in blood sugar levels, leading to large amounts of insulin to be released into the bloodstream. Number one, best nutrition strategy, find a diet that's limited in processed and refined foods. The best diet for this is the Mediterranean diet. The Mediterranean diet focuses on whole, real food, and limits processed and refined food. If you're looking for an easy way to start the Mediterranean diet, I have four weeks worth of Mediterranean diet meal plans, and a Mediterranean diet cookbook in my bio. In the Mediterranean diet, you still want to focus on limiting carbohydrates. Following my 3P approach can be really helpful here. Prioritize your carbohydrates, choosing low glycemic options that are high in fiber and have minimal impact on blood sugar levels. Pairing your carbohydrates is also key. Always pair your carbs with a protein or a healthy fat to balance your blood sugar. Of course, prioritize your carbohydrates, choosing whole real food options instead of the refined and processed ones. The next nutrition strategy is to increase protein. Specifically, animal proteins are going to be best for insulin resistance. The rest of your plate with healthy fats like these, fiber-rich foods like these. You've got the hang of the Mediterranean diet and these other nutrition strategies. Try intermittent fasting. I have a whole series of this on my page. Strategically being in a fasted state allows your body to utilize excess fat for energy, which can significantly and quickly lower insulin levels. The body responds to positive nutrition changes almost immediately. It is possible to reverse insulin resistance. If these changes sound overwhelming, I have a ton of resources in my bio to help you get started. If you want to start seeing changes within the next month, join my Spring Reset program. This is a four-week program that combines all of these nutrition strategies plus supplementation to help you reach optimal health.